Hello everyone, and welcome to another Anthony Railway B video. Now, before I even got close to being able to run trains on the layout over there, I was making videos about that new layout. I was working on them, and it was mainly about the mistakes that I made on the old layout, and what I would do differently on the new layout. Now, one of these videos that I made was about wiring, and that's what I'm about to show you. It doesn't go into too much detail, that's something that I'll do next week uh, when I talk about how I made this model railway modular, but I'm sure it'll give you a couple of ideas and yeah, I hope you don't find it boring. <laughs> so. My new layout is going to have two full track loops. It's going to be digital, but I've got one problem. Not all of my trains are digital. So I'm going to want to have one track powered with digital, and the other track powered with digital, unless if I'm running an analogue train, in which case I'll want that to be analogue powered. And so I had to come up with a solution, which was this. This is a digital track power control box. The power from the control goes in, the, uh, and the power to the two track uh, loops goes out there. I can switch between what track I want to be digital and which one to, I want to be analog, and I can also choose to have both tracks digitally controlled. So, that's one problem solved. There. 